We've just been having such a good time having a conversation with Nono already because, my love, it is the Sunlam Cape Town Marathon that is going to be happening on the 19th to the 20th of October. And I am so excited about it. Why? Because yet again, we get to be inspired by beautiful humans who are, in fact, pushing their bodies to the limit, but doing so in an incredible way. And today I'm talking about one such runner who also just so happens to be a cancer survivor, someone who I genuinely feel like has just shown everyone what it means to allow your dreams to still come true no matter what life throws at you. So everyone, please can we welcome to the Expresso Couch? It is Nono! My beautiful Nono, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Amazing, thank you, gorgeous. Thank you. Nono, I absolutely am just so inspired by you. And I think anyone who hears your story is, which is why I'm so excited for you to share it with the rest of the country today. But I want to know, you know, just in terms of you and running, where did that specific journey begin? Well, hello to your audience first. Yes. Hi, everyone. Um, I started running after I was diagnosed with hypertension. Mm. So I was diagnosed at an earlier age, but um, I kept, I, was, I actually was in denial until I came to a stage whereby my doctor said, no, this is serious. We have to start doing something. Yeah. And I managed to convince him that I will do it on my own. I will manage it by exercising. Mm. So I started walking and then walking started getting boring and then I started running so yes. that's when I started running in 2017. But no no walking yeah. is boring I like walking <laughs> no 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 you are, uh, you are something else uh, yeah. but now you took it to a whole new level you didn't just start jogging or like running lightly a whole 42.2 kilometer distance. I didn't start with a 42.2. Of course two. not. Yes. 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 I started with your park runs, yes. your five kilometers, and then I went to a 10, mm. then I went to a 21, then 42. Yes. By then, I my last 42 was before I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Mm. So Sunlam will be my first 42 post the treatment. Wow. Yes. That's incredible, no, no. And I know you. you're just going to knock it out the park. And I mean, for me, someone who doesn't even run on a daily basis, it looks like such a big thing to go and run 42 kilometers, which is why I want to know, you know, when you kind of think about it and even like with yourself, you know, when you introspect and always go through the motions of running 42 kilometers, what motivates and encourages you to always keep going in that 42 kilometers? Well, first of all, I always think about the people who always say that I inspire them. Mm. That's the first thing. Look, it's always hard, you know, when you're running. And yes. um, I always try to remember the reasons why I'm running. So I take each kilometer as it comes, yeah. just like I took each day, you know, I was taking each moment when I was going through treatment mm. as hard as it was. So I was taking each moment as it came. So I take each kilometer as it comes and I face the challenges that comes along the way yeah. when I'm going through it. And I always push through it because running teaches you the discipline of pushing through and mm. finishing. So, no, no. And you know what? It really is so beautiful how you sort of align those two stories together. Mm -hmm. How going through the treatment was like running a marathon. Yes. And, and I think that puts it into perspective for a lot of people, you yes. know. And thank you so much for pushing through because then it allows so many others to be able to look to your story and be inspired. It's so thank pleasure. you for that. It's a pleasure. Of course. It's but what I live for. Exactly, <laughs> yes. exactly. Yes. But when we talk about the Sunlam Cape Town Marathon theme this year, yes. it is African African champions unite. Yes. What does it mean to be a champion to someone like you? Well, to be a champion to me means that um, to live your life inspiring other people. Mm -hmm. You inspire people by sharing your story. Yeah. Because when we look at each other, we think that uh, we live perfect lives. Yeah. But our lives are not perfect. So if I find out that you are facing challenges, it inspires me to to push through, you know, mm. because I know that that person looks perfect, but actually they're not perfect, yeah. you know. A champion is somebody who's taking care of their body yeah. because we only have one body and we need to take care of it. So if you have a feeling that something is wrong with you, mm. you need to go and check it out because they say, we advocate for early detection saves lives. Yes. When you detect something wrong in your body early, you have a better chance of fighting. Mm. Yes. Sure. And you see, this is why we now look to you, my Nono, because you're somebody who has conquered a 42 kilometer and now you're going to conquer another one. Yes. What words of encouragement would you give to anybody who's running their first race? I would say believe in yourself. Remember yeah. that um, the training and the preparation that you've put in, yeah. it's going to serve you on race day. Yeah. Enjoy the 
experience because I believe that atm the atmosphere is going to be electric. Ah. Uh, celebrate every step because each kilometer is a victory. Yes. Crossing over that finish line is a testament of somebody's determination and resilience. Yes. So go out there and have fun. Beautiful. Yes. And we're going to have fun watching you, some of us from the sidelines, and supporting you as well. Thank you. Because you're running for a cause. Yes. Talk to us about how, you know, this cancer initiative that you're going to be taking part in, others can get in on it as well. Okay. So cancer will be giving free, a uh, free examination, breast examination and oh. skin screening at the, at the expo from mm. the 17th to the 19th of October at wow. the DHL Stadium in Cape Town. Yes. So anybody can just donate and support a Cancer Active Champion like me mm -hmm. on the Give and Gain link. So for just 100 rand, you can be sponsoring um, a breast exam wow. and you can also become a Cancer Champion. Wow, that's incredible. Yes. So we, need, we really need that breast examination because we need to detect the lumps early mm. as we advocate for early detection. Oh, man. Yes. No, no, you are my hero. Thank I appreciate you. you. You're our thank champion. You. And thank you so much, like I said once again, just for doing this and showing everyone that it's possible. And all of the best. Thank you. We are behind you, girl. Thank you so much. Thank I know you. you're going to kill it and you're, you're going to blow it out the water in terms of your time and everything. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Nono and she is an absolute hero indeed, my love. And truly, I believe that we have so much to be inspired by when we talk about the people who come out here and say, I can do it, I will do it and so can you and you can get more information about the Cape Town Marathon at capetownmarathon.com it is that easy my lovely happening from the 19th to the 20th of October and we cannot wait to see you there and remember believe in yourself you got this my beautiful Carissa please Michael you must always believe in yourself ne?